three, two, one, go. Let's lay some brick, kids. Now, they're, they're actually vying for a lot of cash out here, too. Hey, I told them, Tom, that we guaranteed for this 10 minutes to pay them $10 a minute. That's pretty darn good. I like that. I, I'd take that any day. That's pretty good. In an hourly wage, I'll take that every day of the week, yes, my sir. friend. So, so that's what they're going for. They're ten dollars for for every minute that they lay brick today. And I told them the guy that wins may get a little more compensation. I think they should, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. So we're looking forward to seeing who can put the brick in the wall in ten minutes and, and who comes out the champion. And you know, there's something that we uh, haven't talked about. But it's not just men that are out there. We have a female tender that's working really hard that's taking care of stall number one right there. And Jeez. we've seen them in the past. We've seen girls that are masons, girls that are tenders. This job is for anybody that just wants to, you know, get their hands dirty. Absolutely, absolutely. She is wonderful. And she is actually in charge of being responsible for the, the guy in stall number one. I well, remember, you. behind every man, there is always a good woman. Absolutely, and there she is. I like it. All right, well, 10 minutes, we're on the clock, about a little under nine minutes left. And how many brick do you think they're going to be able to get down in those 10 minutes? You know, I'm going to guess here, but I think th these guys have already, they've already laid a lot of brick this morning. Yeah, so, so they're a little tired. They're, they're a little tired, but I think they've still got some wind left in them. So I'm, I'm going to say... I think we're going to see around the 80 to 90 mark, possibly, really? in 10 minutes. So All right, you got any favorites? I don't have a bit of favorites. No favorites, because they're all good kids. They're all great kids. And, and what I want them to do is take the next step. And this is, this is how you get that to happen. The apprentice contest, the junior bricklayer, it sets the stage for our young people to take the next step, and that's to be in the big show. And you know, part of this, Come on over here, Sean, and you know, I want to talk to uh, Brian Belden with Belden Brick, and uh, Brian, you know, you're such a great sponsor, and you see these kids out here with the Belden Brick work, and th th this is good for the future of masonry. Yeah, it's exciting. I like to see the juniors. This is, this is what we need. Industry needs guys like this, ladies like this, to come out and do this stuff. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's important, and you know, we found out that, you know, all of this, uh, the bricks and the block and, and the mortar and everything, it's going to go to the uh, operational village, the occupational village is going to be out here, and that's important because what we're doing is, you know, you guys are helping those that are, you know, trying to take that next step and get a job somewhere. Absolutely. For our industry, we need kids to get involved, we need people to get involved, and we're here to do what we can to help out. Right. Well, Thank, Thank you, Brian. We're going to talk to you again, and, and we appreciate you being out here. We couldn't do it without Belden and Brick, so thank, thank you very you much. Yeah, Tom, glad to be back. All right. Thank you, Brian. And, and Sean, you've got a nice little trophy right there. Well, I, I heard you guys talking about they got this little segment going on. We're going for 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And, well, they deserve a trophy, so I just pick up the first one I found. <laughs> First one I've on. Do you think we could give this away here? Well, probably. I don't, uh, I don't know. That, no, that's, that's the reality the is this is them training for the future. Their names exactly. could be on this one day. It's something we're going to have to keep our eyes for. We're yeah. not going to give it to the junior today, but they can still earn it in a couple of years. Well, they're going to earn a little bit of cash with about six and a half minutes remaining. And uh, just an early lead right now. Uh, the gentleman that scored a thousand out of a thousand looks like he has a slight lead. So Grant Helms looking good right off the bat. I've just been told that there's a lot of hundred dollar bills in Brian Carney's hand from Specmix. And uh, as Ryan Shaver said a little earlier, yeah, we're going to tip the winner just a little bit more, but everybody today is going to walk away with at least a Benjamin. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's where that $10 a minute comes into play. That's pretty good. Ten like times that. 10. Hey, it's good money. These guys are doing good, and I'm proud of them. I'm proud of their effort. And the next step for them moving over to the bricklayer, I'm ready to see it. I'm All right. Ready to see it. We're getting about a little over five minutes. Let's sit here. Keep your eyes on the big screen. Let's watch these kids lay some brick.
Junior Bricklayer is still going on. You know, we had an amazing volunteer offer to come in to help us out here. Sadat is actually being a tender over here at the Junior Bricklayer. Sadat, you, you're working hard, and I'm not going to take you away from what you're trying to do here, but how much, how passionate are you about the trades here, wanting to volunteer your personal time to be here today at this Beckvix Bricklayer 500? That's a hard question. That was so much words in one question. Um, it's an awesome trade. It's so I, I wasn't going to make it easy for you. <laughs> I need to go get mud. <laughs> okay. All right. She's got a job to do. She's going to be coming back. And I'm not going to speak for her, but she's been doing an amazing job. Look at her. She's keeping the, the junior bricklayer thing going. She knows how important it is. This young lady is accepting the trades into her life. She's passionate about it. I've spoken with her instructors and the talent that she has. She's actually come up through the ranks from the skills into the MCAA Nationals. She's been very successful. It's not just for men, young ladies as well. Look at her. She is passionate. Sadat, keep working. I'm out of your way. Appreciate what you're doing here. Tom, you want to, you got anything coming up here? What, how are our judges look, looking? The judges are looking good, Sean. As a matter of fact, we got a couple of demos coming up right around the corner. We got the IQ demo on our demo wall right in here. They're going to be coming in. We also have the Block Lauder Pants Pole, which is just around the corner as well. Our fine van over there with all the Block Lauder gear. They're going to bring us a set of pants. We're going to be looking for some beefy guys out in the audience or beefy girls if they would like to play. I'm not going to discriminate. We just need people that think they can rip a pair of block lotter pants apart. Uh, I'm going to start looking for someone that I think is a pant ripper. What? You got someone in mind? You got someone you want to volunteer? D did you hear about what's coming up? The block lotter pants pull? We need you to try and pull a pair of block ladder pants apart. We're going to team you up against someone else. Are you in? I guess. All right, we got our first. We're going to have a woman-on-woman -woman first right we, here. We need four. We need four people, Sean. We're going to do four? We're going to we need two. four people, two and two. All right. I, I, I've come to learn that we already have some qualifiers for this, but I think we should do a little... 15 second, second demo. We're gonna pair you up against another woman to see if you could rip them apart. So get ready, all right? Thank you. Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Everybody count it for me. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Put your trials down. Good job, guys. Good job. Awesome work.
All right, we're going to give you a five-minute break. Grab you a cold water, five-minute break, and then you have a five-minute tooling time. Well, we had a phenomenal showing from four third-year apprentices. Uh, it was phenomenal. So after the judging, after the tooling, yep. after deductions, right. we have some prizes to give away. Okay. And the first thing that Mr. Carney would like to award is $100 each for the participation in today's contest. Thank you, Brian. Everybody gets 100 bucks right there, so you get 100, you get 100, 100 you get 100, and you get 100. But there's going to be an extra $100 for somebody, and Ryan, I'm going to let you award that. Yes, sir. So after, after all the deductions, brick count, final total, we have Mr. Grant Helms laid 144 brick in 10 minutes. He wins the today's top junior Bricklayer Award, and he wins another hundred dollars plus a four-foot stability level plus Marshalltown tool bag. And also, I'd like to allow him to take home a piece of concrete from the Quickcrete sledgehammer demo. I think anybody that wins something today should take home the concrete so we don't have to clean it up. I'm with you. That'll keep him grounded, Tom. All right. We also want to thank the tenders. You did a good job today, but you're not too dirty. That's is that a does that mean something? It's a trick, bud. Rick, I think that's pretty good. How did he do? Did, did he do okay? I got dirty. You got dirty. <laughs> yeah, she got real dirty, but she you got she got some nice he boots on. He did good. He did great, in my opinion. All right, that's good. Awesome, awesome. Where, where's there? He do okay? Yes, sir. All right, I like that. And um, do you know this guy? Know him pretty well. This uh, how well do you know him? Uh, sometimes too much. <laughs> yeah, I think so. He did a pretty good job. You were a good tender. Yeah, thank you. All right, Ryan, I'll tell you what, they, awesome. you know, without a, mate, without a tender, you don't have a, a good team. Yes, sir, correct. So we're looking for these four in the big show next year. I don't see any reason why they shouldn't be there. Congratulations, everybody. Right next door, back to Sean O'Malley over there, who's going to do our spec mix grout demo. Sean? That's right. Thank you very much, Tom. Great job, young men, young ladies. That was pretty impressive there.